In this video, I'm going to talk about uh, another app within a core component solution named as Maker Environment Request App. Now, as the name suggests that this app is dedicated to the makers of the platform. So uh, the first thing uh, what uh, one need to do is like, uh, they need to use the COE setup and upgrade wizard process to configure the app first before using it. So I'm going to show that in the demo in a while. Um, <clears throat> Uh, so what, what does this app does? So it allows a maker to request for the creation of environment. So in a power platform environment, if uh, a maker wants to uh, provision, say, production environment or a sandbox environment, then a request will be passed on from a maker to an admin. Admin will make a decision and then they can either approve, reject or, you know, uh, put those requests on hold. Uh, so so this is basically a small workflow so this app specifically make environment request is dedicated for makers to submit the environment request now in addition to environment creation request uh, the maker can uh, a request for DLP policy change request as well. So what is DLP? DLP is data loss prevention. So it's a policy which has been uh, created within an organization to set some governance guardrails. <clears throat> Now, uh, assume that uh, an organization already has uh, multiple DLP policies set up, uh, then maker can uh, select uh, a particular DLP policy and then suggest that a specific environment should have that DLP policy in place. So it's kind of a request which a maker sends to an admin and then again admin can approve or deny that request. So I'm going to show that uh, uh, in a demo. Okay, so now before we even go into this uh, maker environment uh, request app, I'm going to show you first how to navigate to the configuration app. So the configuration app is first COE setup and upgrade wizard app. Now, how to go to that? I'm in the core component solution uh, and then I'm navigated to the app and I'm in the COE setup and upgrade visit process. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna trigger this app. Now, <clears throat> under this app, COE setup and upgrade visit app, on the second menu, I clicked on this more features, okay? So uh, I'm not uh, going to the initial setup, but I'm in the more feature. And here you will find one block called as environment request management. So uh, the note says the environment request management components help you automate environment and DLP request. Makers can request new environment or changes to the DLP policy that can be reviewed by admin. Any changes are automatically performed, reducing the manual effort on the admin. So let's configure this feature. Now I'm configuring this feature. So this is kind of a wizard based approach and uh, it will uh, give you a step by step guidance. So the first step is getting started. Uh, if you want to learn more about environment request management, you can go through the documentation or you can watch a video or, or uh, go through Microsoft document site to view the basics of uh, environment creation process. Now, when I click next, it will tell you uh, to turn on the flows. Now, for me, all the flows are turned on. But in case if it is uh, turned off for some reason, you just need to turn this on. Now, this flows will help you set up the environment request activity and DLP request activity. So there are some set of background flows which helps in the administration process of sending out those requests. Make sure all the flows are turned on. I click on next, then it will uh, ask you for some mandatory values. Now the first mandatory values it says is environment request automatically approve certain groups. Now. What if you want to automate some request? Like say, if say if you receive a request from uh, say specific maker, uh, then you uh, uh, think that maybe it's auto approve those requests. Then if you set this to yes, okay, then any request submitted by the maker will be automatically approved and uh, that particular request uh, will uh, not go through that actual approval process for an admin, okay? But I've just set it up no. Uh, the second part is enable cost tracking. Now, if you select yes, then uh, cost tracking in the environment creation request form will be uh, tracked correctly, 
okay which i'm going to cover this in the uh, later modules i'll go next the next one it says enable data policies for makers now the items which you see over here are technically uh, a data loss prevention policy which i created uh, well before this demo now you may not find anything over here if you are uh, starting from scratch but uh, once you create the dlp policies it will be all visible over here now here you can set whether you want to make that policies visible to makers or not okay so let's assume if i put block facebook uh, dlp policy as visible to makers is off okay now i'll i'll show you one once i go into the app like what do you mean by that so there are three dlp policies but only two are visible okay uh next now once i do next now the app which i'm currently explaining you is about maker environment request i'm going to cover admin environment request in another video now what uh this screen does is like it will allow uh like an uh, admin to share this app so if you click here it will share this app to set of users now if you have already created a makers group then uh, all the maker will get a uh, maker environment request app automatically within that environment okay so uh, i'll click on next and then i'll navigate to the maker environment request app okay so i'll just click on done now how to navigate to the maker environment request uh, application again go back to your center of excellence core solutions and uh, navigate to the maker environment request and then click on say play okay i've already <coughs> opened it uh, beforehand now this is how the app will look like okay now uh, there are a couple of things to note one is environment request and second is data policy change request uh, let me click on environment request first over here and then i can view all the records which i have submitted by the status so approved cancelled deleted expired failed fulfilled live pending rejected timeout okay now i don't have any uh, request submitted so what i'm going to do is i'm going to submit a new request so i want to create an environment okay but uh, it says that hey can you let me know what connectors are you going to use in this environment now i don't know what i'm going to do with that environment but uh, what i'm going to do is like i'm just going to not select anything okay i'll just say next now here in the screen it will uh, uh, tell you that select the admins for this environment by default your name will be selected that's fine move on now in this form i can type in the environment which i want okay so let me call this as ai uh, 2023 environment okay and the region is australia type is sandbox so i can put either sandbox or a production uh, i'm not put production as of now i'll just put sandbox purpose is to do some demo on ai okay uh, business area now here i have already created business area well beforehand brisbane and sydney i'll show you where to create all those things uh, but for time being i'll just select the brisbane area i can select automatically delete environment after use uh, after maybe 30 days okay so how long is the environment needed i just need it for 30 days and then i can uh, uh, send it for cleanup i do i want a database for this environment i don't want this I click on save and the request should be submitted now where does this request go this request goes to the admin of the center of excellence starter kit now i'm going to cover admin environment request uh, uh, in my different video uh, but i can show you i've just opened that app well beforehand over here uh, now here uh, if you see the menu here if i click on environment request uh, and then if i click on refresh then the request which I just submitted should be uh, visible uh, if the services and all in the background uh, is properly executed. So as you see over here, this one, uh, this is a environment request which was just submitted recently. Okay. okay, so now that is about environment request submission. Let's talk about data policy change. Now, as I mentioned to you that uh, uh, you you will not see anything over here uh, like as if it's a blank environment i have already done some research and that's why you can see one record over here let's create a new data policy change request now the action requested is apply a policy to an environment now the environment uh what policy so now this policy if you see here block facebook no social media and google and block adobe okay so if i say i want to block uh, adobe policy and I, then I need to select the environment. Okay, I'll select say Girish Dev environment. And the reason I might say 
uh, staff must not use fb okay and then i click on save now the moment i click on save this particular uh, policy change request will be sent to an admin now again where it will go it will go to an admin environment request app specifically received by an admin so under data policies the admin should receive those notifications uh, okay now yeah so this is the one the policy change request okay so this is the one which i recently submitted uh, block adobe uh, and then if i just refresh the screen if there are any other uh, policy change requests submitted by an end user i can see it over here yeah uh, similarly like uh, in maker environment request i can uh, i can you use an existing policy like now this is let's assume this is a pending dlp policy change request which i have submitted uh what i can do is like i can cancel this request i can say that oh no i just submitted it but i don't want it now okay so i can cancel this request and then those entry will be removed from the uh, system okay so that's it folks this is all about maker environment request uh in the next video i'm going to talk about admin environment request which is like i showed you most of the items uh uh, in this video itself, but I'm going to cover that specifically in a uh, new video. Thanks for watching.